G'day, Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Now, uh, I got this off a friend. Unfortunately, the friend bought this off Gumtree, um, a second-hand online sort of sales thing. Uh, it's a, a pretty, it's an okay mountain bike. It's had a, an electric uh, motor kit fitted to it. And my friend bought this so that he could drive to, uh, right to work and back because he needed a bike. And he thought it was in pretty good condition. Um, he had a ride of it when he was, when he bought it and it seemed fine. Um, probably paid a bit too much for it unfortunately. The guy selling it claimed, claimed that it was like uh, belonged to his wife and that she'd only driven a little bit and they were upgrading. Um, but had, had, uh, had this had my friend looked a bit closely, he would have noticed that, um, that the rims had been like spray painted black and also that the motor, um, the front motor, the electric hub motor, uh, had been sprayed silver already, which was a, a bit of a warning sign saying, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, maybe it's not as new as what you think it is. Anyway, my friend bought it home, and um, you know, ugh, sounds a bit rough now. Uh, went for a ride, it was alright, went for another ride, and looked like basically turned the throttle on and uh, got no torque. So there's obviously something seriously wrong in this hub motor. And so, look, I'm gonna take it apart and see what's wrong with it. I really doubt I can fix it. I'm not very good at fixing things. Uh, but at least we can see how it works and that sort of thing. So it's got a pretty big lithium ion battery, 36 volts. It's got the motor controller here, throttle here, small controller up here. And then the, I think it's a probably a 350 watt uh, front electric hub motor. So let's get this thing pulled apart and let's check out what's wrong with it. First, I'm going to try and do it non-destructively. I'm going to try and undo these screws and see see what happens. Oh no! Oh, good. Oh dear. Oh, yes. oh one left. Come on, baby. Please. Oh dear. That one won't come out. Let the lift off now. There we go. This is definitely a case of buyer beware. My friend has been ripped off. It, this is a very old electric hub motor. Look at the, look at that grease there. Look at that, look at that solidified grease. It's got bits and pieces of plastic in there. What has happened is that this orbital gear what has happened is that these orbital gears which run around the inside of that cog are basically totally shredded. Look at that. There is no gear, there are, there are no teeth left on that gear. That one's virtually got no teeth whatsoever. That one's got some. And, and the, I think the bearing, the bear, look at that. Even the bearing on that is totally blown. Oh man, my friend has been ripped off. This motor is very old and very well used. Just for fun, I've put the um, just the motor back on the front wheel hub, and <laughs> let's have a look. How's this motor gear system work in the first place? As the motor as the motor rotates, the um, planetary gears go around and drive the uh, the internal gear of the wheel, causing the wheel to turn. Uh, you can see it pretty good in this animation. 
Uh, there we go, round, 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 turn, turn, turn. I'm really keen to find out, you know, what the motor actually looks like on the inside of this hub motor, exactly what type of electric motor it is. So I'm going to do my best to pull this thing apart. I'll give it a go. Put it in the vise. Hold it firmly. If I had a bearing puller, I'd probably try and use the bearing puller, but I, I don't have a bearing puller. So I'm just going to try. Try that. See what happens. Yeah, not very good. Easy. Look at that. Look at that. Those gears are totally shot. Even the, the whole bearing's gone. <laughs> and my friend was told that this was like a pretty new bike. This thing is years old. Oh. Look at that. It's just thick and crusted. Grease, all the gear, all the teeth have sheared off. The bearing's totally gone. Shock. Ta da! Ta da! And there it is. Would you look at that? Even the inside of the motor is old corroded um, but basically to make this motor work you have to send signals to um, each opposite pairs of coils turns them on each pair of coils is fired up the outside rotor is pushed along by the rotating magnetic field pretty straightforward pretty basic so what I've done is I've stripped the wires now there's three that probably go to some like sensors there's a little probably um, wall effect sensor in there that measures I know the magnetic field where something is. But I'd say these three wires are connected to these coils in a particular order. So I've got a little 12 volt source like that. I might just um, try connecting the coils up at random and whoa! <laughs> see, see, see what happens. So obviously, as you power up these coils, they produce a magnetic field. And then that magnetic field opposes the permanent magnets of this rotor causing it to turn. Now I think the permanent magnets of this rotor are quite weak and so I don't think the force is that great. But effectively... Oh! Hey! <laughs> um, I can get this motor to turn. Woo! Ooh, not to run but at least to turn. Look at that! Woohoo! <laughs> Certainly thanks for joining me today on Make Science Fun. I think we've all learnt something. Be careful when you buy secondhand stuff. Uh, maybe do a bit of investigation before you commit to buy uh, so that you don't get ripped off. Nothing's worse than getting ripped off on the internet. Ugh, I hate it. Okay, alright. Bye for now. Thanks for joining me. Ah, uh, uh, I hate grease.